Hello, this is not a spring chicken. You've always heard the term use it or lose it. Well, the president has a new term, which is give it or lose it. Yes, give your money to those people. Oh, wait a minute. You're supposed to hire the people too, right? Because now, if you don't hire them and you have more than 15 employees, well, they can sue you. But give it to them or they're going to tax you and take it away. Wait a minute. Didn't they change charitable deductions? Oh, wait a minute. Those aren't supposed to count as charitable deductions. Wait a minute. Were you just supposed to hire them or just give it to them? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Groupon COO jumps ship after five months. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I, I, I know, it's just, it's just we've got a screw world going on at the moment, folks. I mean, we got the President of the United States saying he's going to tax people unilaterally if they don't give it. We have the stock market going up on revision of last month's figures were all wrong. Unemployment is going up again. And, uh, and, and Europe is basically, France is in such big monetary problem, they're laying off 30,000 union workers, and they're going to have to put a new tax on businesses. Uh, if you're going to come to France, you're going to pay for the privilege of coming to France. Don't they already? Uh, but tourists are not going to go to France. If you have to pay an excise tax for going to the country, people won't go to Las Vegas because they've got a resort fee on things. So guess what's going to happen when they start charging resort fees in France just to come into the country? It's going to be, it's the value added, value added tax to come into the country, which means everywhere along the line they'll tax you. Ew. You're going to come where, well, I'm going to get taxed at the airport, I'm going to get taxed by the But you already can get, get that rebated huh? as a bit. Here's part of it. As a tourist, you could get the VATs rebated to you. Or Not anymore. Uh -uh. That isn't going to, they're going to stop that. The countries are broke because they're supplying those bankrupt countries with money. They oh, you mean like Greece? Yeah. Greece is austerity program, which is raising, they're going to raise taxes by 20% on anybody coming to Greece to do business, our tourists coming into the country. They're a tourist country and they're going to raise the 20%. You're going to pay 20% more value added tax to come into our country to see our, our relics, mm -hmm. which means nobody will come. And Icon drops push to unseat the Clorox board. Well, yeah, he said it's just, um, he said the company is going down, which is funny, how the heck does Clorox go down the drain? Everybody uses it. I know, I don't understand that But they that said uh, uh, they had uh, a $66 billion offer to take over the company to get it out of its financial problems. $66 billion, and the board of directors turned it down, and the, and the stockholders wouldn't go along with it because they didn't think it was enough money. The company is the company is in danger of bankruptcy and thought the sixty six billion wasn't enough money. You know, did somebody have a screw loose? Uh, it's got to do with the fact that all of those things that Bill O'Reilly hates and that the President of the United States wants to ta tax to death, which are the hedge funds and all those things, which represents your grandmother, your grandfather, all the unions, got together and decided, well. You know, we know how it is. You people have got lots of money. We want some of it. Well, no, 66 was an over, over bid according to Wall Street by a considerable amount. And B of A sued by shareholder over $10 billion AIG loss. Well, yeah, you know, the problem is, is that the, 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 they were invested in AIG also. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 okay. the problem comes is that these businesses didn't lose the money voluntarily. They lost it because of government mandates, folks. You're not going to win in litigation. Okay, Obama wants the banks destroyed in this nation. He's out of his way to see they get destroyed. And they will admit that these are Obama supporters that are suing Bank of America to put the nail in the coffin. Mm. And Amanda Knox, a promiscuous she-devil, a pill court told. I, 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 this is one of the things I don't understand. They, they know the judges do not like those prosecutors. The prosecutors have already got, been charged with criminal misconduct about evidence. They said all the evidence they provided was fabricated. And Are yet, you serious? And yet they fabricated the evidence, and, uh, and yet they're demanding life imprisonment on no evidence now. Um. I know. They you know, put, we were talking about a screw loose. The earlier. best they could do with fabricated evidence was 26 years in a prison. Now, with no evidence, they want life imprisonment. How 
in the world did they get that justification? Uh, because they're all going to go to jail, and they're trying to make certain that she gets, she pays for what she, they said. What they're going to do? That they think the judge is going to give her time served and throw her out of the country. And former Obama to raise his taxes. Oh yeah. Here's the problem: is the guy gave three hundred thousand dollars to the Obama campaign last year. And he's a, he, 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 they, they, I think they said they fired him for Google because while Google uh, basically has a, you know, an even-handed policy on corporate donations, he simply would come into the office and solicit money for Obama. Oh, really? So they fired him for being a representative of the Obama campaign committee and not a representative of Google. Well, so they have distanced them. They've told everybody now. They got tired of the guy coming in and leading Obama campaign rallies. Where's That'll get you fired from yeah. work. Well, oh, yeah, they said it was directly forbidden by Google bylaws for employees to do that on the company premises. Well, he's probably doing during company time, too. He was on company time, everything, so they fired him. And yeah. they said that they also, they also, one of the people said they'd heard that it was a rehearsed response, that he had been planted in the audience to say that I'm, a, you know, I'm an ex, I'm an ex-executive at Google and such and such, and I think that we're not taxed enough, and I ask you to tax me higher. Well, that sounds like a plan because see, yeah. anybody can pay more taxes if they want to. Well, I'm thinking about putting a, a page, on, you know, I got to get it interactive that we can have for all of the members of the Democratic Party that want to have their taxes raised. And that, when, you know, I, I expect that every member of the United States House of Representatives and the Senate, and all of the Democratic report, all the Democratic supporters, including all of Hollywood, will sign their name and their, you know, and that, you know, and their contact number, so that they can be put on the list to have their taxes raised to help the people that aren't paying. Taxes. We we can do that on Facebook or or Twitter. We'll yeah. call it. I want my taxes raised. Yeah, I think you know that it's going to work because I mean, I I got to expect that 50 million people will sign that petition. I mean, it will bust. It will collapse our site, collapse Twitter, collapse Facebook. But every person in this nation that supports the President of the United States will either have to support his raising taxes on them individually, or they're going to have to basically back off and call, be called hypocrites. They have no choice in the matter. Which is, how, you know, how do you know a Republican is stupid? Because they would do something like that. No, no. How, then this is the question. This is very the market question. How do you know that a Republican is stupid? How? Because they haven't even thought about calling the president down on the, raising the taxes. Wow. Well, yeah, yeah because he will not, you will not find the Congress willing to raise their taxes. You will not find Buffett willing to raise his taxes. He's fighting in court now not to pay taxes. <laughs> you want to see Bill Gates? Well, we've got trust funds. We can't do this. Yeah. yeah. And dad's less likely to die of heart problems, a new study finds. Well, because what I find to be difficult. Actually, it's because actually... Uh, a married man tends to stop having sex after a while, and sex, sex puts a strain on the heart system, so... Yeah. yeah! And U.S. tells Pakistan to clamp down on Haqqani Network. And, and basically, Pakistan told the United States the same thing that Obama is telling all the people that don't support him. F you! Mm -hmm. so, and Michael Jackson images dominate the opening of a doctor's trial. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, okay, this has got to be the most ridiculousness. You know what the maximum penalty for killing Michael Jackson will be? What? Uh, four years suspended sentence and loss of his license to do, me do me medical license in California. He's already got a new medical license out of the state. He gets no punishment whatsoever. Oh, he does get a $50,000 fine, though. Oh. That's the punishment for killing a person. Well, they also put him through all of this. Uh, no, but you understand why people are pissed off about the death penalty opponents because if if the death penalty was on the table for Michael Jackson's lawyer instead of that was a bad thing you did, mm -hmm. you know that's ridiculous. I mean, they also here's the death penalty. You know, the de you know what the difference between the death penalty and life sentence is? No. Uh, you never have an opportunity to go and kill somebody again. Oh. Well, I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Chris Christie says he's not running for president. Okay, okay. I, I, the guy weight. The guy is about a hundred pounds, two hundred pounds overweight. You cannot see Chris Christie standing on a podium. Actually, podiums won't hold him. The guy waddles everywhere because he is so heavy, and he refuses. 
A president, a man that totally refuses to get in shape, is a man you do not want to be president of this nation. Mm. And deadly U.S. camel outbreak leaves as many as 16 dead. I know, because they're basically reusing sewage water. Are you? They, oh, for the camelops? Yeah, they knew. Better. Oh God! You don't use gray water because it just you know, you can use gray water on your grass. You can use it on your trees. You don't use it where you're growing things to eat. Oh my God! Did, what, what? Yeah. What were they thinking? Uh, because there's a water shortage in those areas, so they're basically what happens is you can clean the water out, so it adds a little bit more money to put a system on where the water is clean before it goes out. We dump almost all of our clean water out into the ocean after it's been cleaned. Mm -hmm. Instead, you sit there and use the clean water to water your plants, folks. You get utilize it. You're cleaning it anyway. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. Uh, Belief is a problem of the delusional, not the crazy.